like your uh, positioning in that there are things that we can do that are concrete and are real that, that can actually solve this problem. Um, you know, it's very deep. It's all pervasive. Uh, it it really cuts to the core of uh, of our society, especially in the United States. Um, and I think probably uh, I'd like to just comment on a couple things that you uh, that you you uh, a couple points that you made. And and the first one is that. So we go from 2,000 calories to 2,600 calories a day. Even if we're an active human being, you know, relatively active, average, uh, gets an average amount of exercise. If we consume that many calories, that 600 extra calories is about 1.2 pounds extra body fat per week. So even just consuming those extra calories over the course of a single year is enough to create lethal health problems. We have a situation now where people are doing this for 20, 30, 40 years, and the net result is if they're lucky to live, uh, they, they end their lives in absolute misery because the impact that uh, obesity has on our health is, is not pretty. Well, I would concur with that. With, uh, it's very difficult to run off those kind of extra calories. Uh, also, what's very interesting, uh, the USDA actually has broken down that increase in calories, and the sources of the increase are primarily from fats and oils, so that would probably reflect uh, fried foods. Mm -hmm. uh, that's about a third of the increase. Another third of the increase comes from uh, grains, uh, because our diet shifted more to carbohydrates and grain products, again, many of which are very good for us, but nevertheless add some calories. And then uh, when you get down to uh, sugars or sweeteners, uh, the increase is someplace around 10%, so it's not really driving the truck on the increase. You really